We're getting into Blackadder. This is uh, episode two of series three, Ink and Incapability. Capability. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. I'm not sure if it's going to uh, continue on the trend of like political stuff. Like I don't know, because the last, last one was like, ooh. Yeah. And I was like, if we were a different kind of channel, we would have a month's worth to talk about. Oh, yeah. But we're not. No. We're here for laughs. We're <laughs> here for a good time. Yeah. Y'all know that. <laughs> yeah. So let's get into some yes, black let's do it. Three, two, one. Three o'clock in the afternoon, Your Highness. Oh, God for that. I thought I'd overslept. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, actually. The most extraordinary thing happened. Last night, I was having a bit of a snack at the Naughty Hellfire Club, and some fellow said that I had the wit and sophistication of a donkey. Oh, an absurd suggestion, sir. You're right. <laughs> so, first of all, Hellfire Club, that's a, a, a reference uh, before Stranger Things was a thing. But it was in the 80s. It was set around the same time. So, coincidence? What? 80s? Yeah, I mean, it, the the show itself was in the oh, 80s. Oh, I was like... Not, the period piece, so... That's like maybe 1880. Right, but <laughs> um, I just had to point out the Hellfire Club reference. Cool. And also the fact that um, on my own time, I learned that Hugh Laurie is also a blues musician. Get out of here. So, in the comments, let us know if you want us to check out check out his music. Oh, yeah. So, what? No way. Yeah, of course he is. Of course. Let's go. Unless, of course, it was a particularly stupid donkey. See, if only I'd thought of saying that. Well, that is so often the way, sir. Too late one thinks of what one should have said. Sir Thomas More, for instance, burned alive for refusing to recant his Catholicism. Must have been kicking himself as the flames licked higher that it never occurred to him to say, I recant my Catholicism. <laughs> <laughs> only the other day, Prime Minister Pitt called me an idle scrounger. And it wasn't until ages later that I thought how clever it would have been to have said, Oh, bugger off, you old fart! I need to win the crook of my mind, Blackadder. I want people to say, That George, why, he's as clever as a stick in a bucket of pig's will. And how do you suggest this miracle is to be achieved, Your Highness? Easy. I shall become best friends with the cleverest man in England. That renowned brain master, Dr. Samuel Johnson, has asked me to be patron of his new book, and I intend to accept. Would this be the long-awaited... Dictionary, sir. Oh, who cares about the title? There's always plenty of juicy murders in it. I hear it's a masterpiece. <laughs> no, sir, it is not. It's the most pointless book since How to Learn French was translated into French. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't got anything personal against Johnson, have you, Blackout? Good Lord, sir, not at all. In fact, I'd never heard of him until you mentioned him just now. <laughs> but you do think he's a genius? No, sir, I do not. Unless, of course, the definition of genius in his ridiculous dictionary is a fat dullard or wobble bottom. <laughs> <laughs> a pompous ass with sweaty dew flaps. Close <laughs> shave there, then. Lucky you warned me. I was about to embrace this unholy ass to the royal bosom. I'm delighted to, to have been instrumental in keeping your bosom free of asses. Don't want to waste my valuable time with wobble bottoms. Fetch some tea, will you, Blackadder? Certainly. Oh, and make it two cups, will you? That splendid brain box, Dr. Johnson's coming round. Mr. B. Nothing's always wrong, Baldur's. The fact that I'm not a millionaire aristocrat with the sexual capacity of a rutting rhino is a constant. <laughs> but today, something's even wronger. That globulous fraud, Dr. Johnson, is coming to tea. I thought he was the cleverest man in England. Or a, I'd bump into cleverer people at a lodge meeting of the Guild of Village Idiots. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you said when you sent him your navel. Novel, Baldrick, not <laughs> British insults are, like, so high tier. Yeah. You have to be, like, so smart you, to even get what you, they're saying. You gotta be awake for it. Man. It's in my novel. Novel or navel, it sounds a bit like a bag of grapefruits to me. The phrase, Baldrick, is a case of sour grapes. He might at least have written back, but nothing, not even a dear Gertrude Perkins, thank you for your book. Get stuffed, Samuel Johnson. Gertrude <laughs> Perkins. I gave myself a female pseudonym. Everybody's doing it these days. Mrs. Radcliffe. What, Jane Austen's a... Of course. A huge Yorkshireman with a beard like a rhododendron. <laughs> no, oh, no. Quite a small one, then. Oh, compared to Dorothy Wordsworth, certainly. James Boswell is the only real woman writing at the moment. And that's just because she wants to get inside Johnson's britches. Perhaps your book really isn't any good. Oh, Codswallop. It's taken me seven years and it's perfect. Edmund, a butler's tale. 
A giant roller coaster of a novel in 400 sizzling chapters. A searing indictment of domestic servitude in the 18th century with some hot gypsies thrown in. My magnum opus, Boric. Everybody has one novel in them. And this is mine, my magnificent octopus. Have my magnificent octopus. I can't stand long books. Once upon a time, there was a lovely little sausage called Borrick, and it lived happily ever after. Semi-autobiographical. And it's completely, utterly awful. Dr. Johnson will probably love it. Nah, I say Baldrick was way ahead of his time. That was the first tweet. Oh, hell, he probably could have made a 50-second TikTok out of that. Baldrick was smarter than you think. Uh, or did we just get dumber? I don't know. I'm trying to be optimistic. Speak of the devil. Well, I'd better go and make the great doctor comfortable. Let's just see how damn smart Dr. Fatty Know-It-All really is. <laughs> oh, and prepare a fire for the prince, will you, Baldrick? What shall I use? Oh, any old rubbish will do. Paper's quite good. Here, try this for starters. Enter! Dr. Johnson, your highness. Ah, Dr. Johnson! Damn cold day! Indeed it is, sir, but a very fine one. For I celebrated last night the encyclopedic implementation of my premeditated orchestration of demotic Anglo-Saxon. What? <laughs> oh, no, didn't catch any of that. <laughs> well, I simply observed, sir, that I'm felicitous. Since during the course of the penultimate solar sojourn, I terminated my uninterrupted categorization of the vocabulary of our post-Norman time. <laughs> oh, I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds damn saucy, you nutty thing. I know some fairly liberal-minded girls, but I've never penultimated any of them in a solo sojourn. I haven't been given any Norman tongue. <laughs> Doctor is trying to tell you that he is happy because he has finished his book. It has apparently taken him ten years. Yes, well, I'm a slow reader myself. <laughs> Here it is, sir, the very cornerstone of English scholarship. This book, sir, contains every word in our beloved language. Hmm. Every single word, sir. Oh, well, in that case, sir, I hope you will not object if I also offer the doctor my most enthusiastic contrafibularities. <laughs> contrafibularities, sir? It is a common word down our way. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm aneuspeptic, prasmotic, <laughs> even compunctuous to have caused you such pericombobulation. <laughs> Sound a bit like Dago talk to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I merely wished to congratulate the doctor on not having left out a single word. Shall I fetch the tea, Your Highness? Yes, yes. And, and get that damn fire up here, will you? <laughs> I shall return interfrastically. Dude, it's like, like you just said, it's like cerebral, over the top. This would happen then. That is a god tier level insult of, right of there. Yes, of Tom Fuckery. Yeah, it's like, oh, you wrote a dictionary. Well, what about these words? They don't fucking exist. How do you know? You're writing the book. Let me get some in there. Yeah. I mean, we know he doesn't have all of them because he doesn't have lit or avocado toast in there. Yeah. Or TikTok. Yeah. Sit you down. Now, this book of yours. Tell me, what's it all about? It is a book about the English language, sir. I see. And the hero's name is what? There is no hero, sir. No hero? Well, lucky I reminded you. Better put one in, pronto. <laughs> Call him George. George is a good Sorry. name for a hero. Now, what about heroines? There is no heroine, sir, unless it is our mother tongue. The mother's the heroine. Nice twist. <laughs> so, how far have we got, then? Old mother tongue is in love with George, the hero. Now, what about murders? Mother tongue doesn't get murdered, does she? No, she doesn't. No one gets murdered or married or in a tricky situation over a pound note. Well, now, look, Dr. Johnson, I may be as thick as a whale omelette, but even I know that. <laughs> book's got to have a plot. Not this one, sir. It is a book that tells you what English words mean. I know what English words mean. I speak English. You must be a bit of a thicko. You would rather not be patron of my book if you can see no value in it whatsoever, sir. Well, perhaps so, sir. As it sounds to me as if my being patron of this complete cowpat of a book will set the seal. Leaving already, Doctor. <laughs> not staying for your appended gestatory interlude. <laughs> You will regret this, Dudley, sir. <laughs> Not only have you impeculiated my dictionary, but you have also lost the chance to act as patron to the only book in the world that is even better. Oh, and what is that, sir? Dictionary 2? <laughs> the Return of the Killer Dictionary? <laughs> no, sir. It is Edmund, a butler's tale, a huge roller coaster of a novel 
crammed with sizzling gypsies. Had you supported her, it would have made you and me and Gertrude millionaires. But it was not for me, sir. I fare you well, I shall not return. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Johnson. A word with you, sir, can mean seven million syllables. You might start now and not be finished by bedtime. Oh! Blast my eyes! In my fury, I have left my dictionary with your foolish master. Go fetch it, will you? Sir, the prince is young and foolish, and has a peanut for bread. <laughs> Give me just a few minutes, and I will deliver both the book and his patronage. Oh, will you, sir? I very much doubt it. <laughs> a servant who was an influence for the good is like a dog who speaks. Very rare. <laughs> I think I can change his mind. Well, I doubt it, sir. A man who can change a prince's mind is like a dog who speaks Norwegian, even rarer. <laughs> I shall be at Mrs. Miggins' literary salon in 20 minutes. Bring the book there. Your Highness, may I offer my congratulations? Well, thanks, Black Adam. Oh, That's shit! Pompous. Oh, no. Contrary, sir, Dr. Johnson left in the highest of spirits. What? He is utterly thrilled at your promise to patronize his dictionary. Well, them to sod off, didn't I? <laughs> yes, sir, but that was a joke. Surely. And a brilliant one, what's more. Yes, I, I suppose it was rather, wasn't it? Yeah. May I deliver your note of patronage to Dr. Johnson as promised? Well, of course. If that's what I promised, then that's what I must do. And I remember promising it distinctly. Excellent. Nice fire, Baldrick. Thank you, Mr. B. Right, let's get the book. Now, Baldrick, where's the manuscript? You mean the big papery thing tied up with string? Yes, Baldrick, the manuscript belonging to Dr. Johnson. You mean the baity fellow in the black coat who just left? Yes, Baldrick, Dr. Johnson. So you're asking where the big papery thing tied up with string belonging to the baity fellow in the black coat who just left is? Yes, Baldrick, I am. And if you don't answer, then the booty bony thing with five toes on the end of my leg <laughs> will soon connect sharply with a soft, dangly collection of objects in your <laughs> For the last time, Baldrick, where is Dr. Johnson's manuscript? On the fire. What? The hot orangey thing under the sky. <laughs> you burnt the dictionary! You burnt the life's work of England's foremost man of letters. Well, you did say burn any old rubbish. <laughs> yes, fine. Isn't it, uh, isn't it gonna be a bit, bit difficult for me to patronize this book if we burnt it? Yes, it is. <laughs> Excuse me a moment. Of course. Now I've got my lovely fire, I'm as happy as a Frenchman who's invented a pair of self-removing trousers. Would you join me in the vestibule? We are going to go to Mrs. McGinn's. We're going to find out where Dr. Johnson keeps a copy of that dictionary, and then you are going to steal it. Me? Yes. Why me? Because you burnt it, Baldrick. But then I'll go to hell forever for stealing. Baldrick, believe me, eternity in the company of Beelzebub and all his hellish instruments of death will be a picnic compared to five minutes with me and this pencil. <laughs> if we can't replace this dictionary. Now, come on. Tell love more next to see that is Mrs. Miggins. Wilt thou bring me but one cup of the brownie juicings of that naughty bean we call coffee ere I die? Oh. <laughs> what Damn is wet. going on? <laughs> what? You lost me at uh, whatever he said about coffee. Dude is like posing. He's doing the Captain Morgan. Yeah. <laughs> Hard. Uh. My consumption grows ever more acute and Coleridge's drugs are wearing off. Oh, Mr. Byron, don't be such a big girl's blouse. Don't forget the pencil, boy. Oh, I certainly won't, sir. Ah, good day to you, Mrs. Mickens. Oh. A cup of your best hot water with brown grit in it. <laughs> Unless, of course, by some miracle your coffee shop has started selling coffee. Be quiet, sir. Can't you see we're dying? Don't you worry about my poets, Mr. Blackadder. Oh. They're not dead. They're just being... This, is, oh, yeah. this screams Arlingtonians, right? Yep, yep. this is Arlingtonian to... Yeah. Oh, this is it. They were the first hipsters. All that's missing is guitars <laughs> that are way too expensive, <laughs> bought by their parents as trust funds. God. There's nothing intellectual about wandering around Italy in a big shirt trying to get laid. Why are they here of all places? We are here, sir, to pay homage to the great Dr. Johnson, as sir should you. Oh, well, absolutely. I, I intend to. I wouldn't happen to have a copy of his dictionary on you, would you? So I can do some revising before he gets here. Friends, I am returned. Uh, 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 so, sir, uh, how was the prince? The prince was and is an utter fool, and his household filled with cretinous servants. Good afternoon, sir. And you are the worst of them, sir. 
After all your boasting, have you my dictionary and my patronage? Not quite. The prince begs just a few more hours to really get to grips with it. Bah! bah! However, I was wondering if a lowly servant such as I might be permitted to glance at a copy. <laughs> there is no copy, sir. No copy? No, oh, sir. <laughs> Making a copy is like fitting wheels to a tomato. Time-consuming and completely unnecessary. <laughs> but what if the book got lost? I should not lose the book, sir. And if any other man should, I would tear off his head with my bare hands and feed it to the cat! Well, that's nice and clear. And I, Byron, would summon a fifty of my men, lay siege to the Pharaoh's house and do bloody murder on him. And I would not rest until the criminal was hanging by his hair with an oriental disemboweling cutlass thrust up his ignoble behind. I hope you're listening to all this, Boris. If only they had Dropbox. If only they had just regular anything. Yeah. <laughs> Any kind of technology. A any. Man, <laughs> I... All right. I don't think I would want to go back in time. If I could, I wouldn't go... No. I wouldn't survive. No. None of us would survive. As soon as you go there, breathe the air, you get, like, syphilis. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, no. And there's no phone chargers. No. <laughs> At least not to my knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> there's you no know? outlets. If you go back, you got to leave your phone. Just right. so we can find it later. Right. And then I'll charge it. But, yeah, anyway, this is great, man. Agreed. <laughs> Sir, I have been unable to replace the dictionary. I am therefore leaving immediately for Nepal, where I intend to live as a goat. Why? <laughs> because if I stay here, Dr. Johnson's companions will have me brutally murdered, sir. Good God, Blackadder, that's terrible. Do you know any other butlers? Of course, when the people discover that you have burnt Dr. Johnson's dictionary, they may go around saying, look, there's Thick George. He's got a brain the size of a weasel's wedding packet. <laughs> well, in that case, something must be done. I have a cunning plan. Sir. Well, that's that then. I wouldn't get overexcited, sir. I have a horrid suspicion that Baldrick's plan will be the stupidest thing we've heard. Since Lord Nelson's famous signal at the Battle of the Nile, England knows Lady Hamilton is a virgin, poke my eye out and cut off my arm if I'm wrong. It's brilliant. You take the string, that's still not completely burnt, you scrape off the soot and you shove the pages in again. Which pages? Well, not the same ones. Yes, I think I'm on the point of spotting the flaw in this plan. <laughs> but do go on. Which pages are they? Well, this is the brilliant bit. You write some new ones. Some new ones. You mean rewrite the dictionary. <laughs> I sit down tonight and rewrite the dictionary that took Dr. Johnson ten years. Yep. Borick, that is by far and away and without a shadow of doubt, the worst and most contemptible plan in the history of the universe. <coughs> on the other hand... I hear the sound of disemboweling cutlasses being sharpened. <laughs> the only plan we've got. So if you will excuse me, gentlemen. Perhaps you'd like me to lend a hand, Black Adam. I'm not as I look. I am as stupid as I look, sir. <laughs> if I can help, I will. Well, it's very kind of you both, uh, but I fear your services might be as useful as a barber's shop on the steps of the guillotine. <laughs> <laughs> very well, sir, as you wish. Let's start at the beginning, shall we? First, A. How would you find A? Oh, I love this quiz. Oh, yes, I got it. What? Well, it doesn't really mean anything, does it? Good. So we're well on the way, then. <laughs> A, impersonal pronoun. Doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> right, next, A. What's up in it? A buzzing <laughs> thing. Okay. A bee. Yeah, it's like, that's a buzzing thing. No, not a bee. It's a bee. Man. Some of these guys, it just starts with A, B. <laughs> He's right, you know, Blackout. A honey does start with a B. And a flower, too. Yes, look, this really isn't getting anywhere. And besides, I've left out our debauch. Oh, well, can't say we didn't give it a try. No, Your Highness, it was a brave stab. But I fear I must proceed on my own. Now, Baldrick, go to the kitchen and make me something quick and simple to eat, would you? Two slices of bread with something in between. What, like Gerald Lord Sandwich had the other day? Yes, a few rounds of Gerald's. Oh, God. How goes it, Blackadder? Not all that well, sir. Well, let's have a look. Medium-sized insectivore with protruding nasal implement. <laughs> Sound much like a bee to me. <laughs> Can't you see that, Your Highness? It's a bloody aardvark! Still on aardvark, are we? Yes, I'm afraid we are. And if I ever meet an aardvark, I'm gonna step on its damn protruding nasal implement until it couldn't suck up an insect if its life depended on it. <laughs> a bit stuck, have you? I'm sorry, sir. 
It's five hours later and I've got every word in the English language except A and Aardvark still to do. And I'm not very happy with my definition of either of them. Well, don't panic, Blackadder, because I have some rather good news. Oh, what? Well, we didn't take no for an answer and have, in fact, been working all night. I've done B. Really? And how have you got on? Well, I had a bit of trouble with belching, but I think I got it sorted out in the end. Oh, no! There I go again! You've been working on that joke for some time, haven't you? <laughs> well, yes, I have, as a matter of fact, yes. Since you started. Basically. basically. So, in fact, you haven't done any work at all? Not as such, no. What have you done? I've done C and D. Right, let's have it then. Right. Big blue wobbly thing that mermaids live in. <laughs> C. <laughs> Understanding still. <laughs> My hopes weren't high. Now, what about D? I'm quite pleased with dog. Yes, and your definition of dog is? Not a cat. Agnes, may I have a word? Certainly. As you know, sir, it has always been my intention to stay with you until you had a strapping son, and I one likewise, to take over the burdens of my duties. That's right, Blackadder, and I thank you for it. But I'm afraid, sir, that there's been a change of plan. <laughs> I'm off to the kitchen to hack my head off with a big knife. <laughs> oh. oh, come on, Blackadder. It's only a book. Let's just damn the fellow's eyes, strip the britches from his backside, and warm his heels to Pumpney Bridge. Hurrah! Sir, these are not the days of Alfred the Great. You can't just lop someone's head off and blame it on the Vikings. Can't I, God? No. Oh, well, all right, then. Well, let's just get on with it. Boil my brains. It's only a dictionary. No one's asked us to eat ten raw pigs for breakfast. Good Lord, I mean, we're British, aren't we? You're not. You're German. Get me some coffee, boy. If I fall asleep before Monday, we're doomed. That, by the way, is totally me staying up late editing all these videos dude i'm telling you you are the unsung hero you know uh but you're the funny one no we are the storm <laughs> that is what yes, we are we, we're a cohesive unit yes that's crazy man have you like the web webster's dictionary yeah the concept is crazy yeah having the concept, all those concept of a dictionary is wild yeah it, it, it's just a collection of every single word in a, cer a certain language. Like, he's the guy that... I mean, I don't know. This is wild. I mean, I don't know. I, I Just free-handed dictionary? I mean, this... Like, it took ten years to make that thing. That is crazy. Uh, oh, my God. I couldn't imagine. And, and then, like, the fact that their reaction to the dictionary being in the damn fire, the fact that that wasn't stronger yeah. is blowing my mind. Yeah. Let's, let's out of this one. Shoot. Mr. Blackadder, time to wake up. What time is it? Monday morning. Oh my God, I've overslept. Where's the quill? Where's the parchment? I don't know. Maybe Dr. Johnson's got some with him. What? He's outside. Ow! Oh! Are you ill, sir? No, you can't have it. I know I said Monday, but I want Baldrick to read it, which unfortunately will mean teaching him to read. Which will take about ten years, but time well spent, I think, because it's such a very good dictionary. I don't think so. Oh, God, we've been burgled! <laughs> I think it's an awful dictionary, full of feeble definitions and ridiculous verbiage. I've come to ask you to chuck the damn thing in the fire. Are you sure? I've never been more sure of anything in my life. I love you, Dr. Johnson. <laughs> I want to have your baby. Sorry, excuse me, Dr. Johnson, but my Auntie Marjorie's just arrived. Baldrick, who gave you permission to turn into an Alsatian? <laughs> what? Oh my god, it's a dream. It's a bloody dream. Dr. Johnson doesn't want us to burn his dictionary at all. Time to wake up. Monday morning. Oh my god, I've overslept. Where's the quill? Where's the parchment? I don't know. Maybe Dr. Johnson's got some with him. What? He's outside. Uh, no, hang on. If we go on like this, you're going to turn into an Alsatian again. <laughs> oh my god. Quick, Baldrick, we've got to escape. Oh, sir, bring out the dictionary at once. Bring it out, sir, in my passion, I shall kill everyone by giving them syphilis. Just like you said, you go out, you breathe the air, syphilis. syphilis. May I have a round there. Bring it out, sir, we shall break down the door. Ah, good morning, Dr. Johnson. Lord Where Iron. is my dictionary? And what dictionary would this be? The one that has taken 18 hours of every day for the last 10 years. My mother died, I hardly noticed. My father cut off his head and fried it in garlic in the hope of attracting my attention. I scarcely looked up from my work. 
My wife brought armies of lovers to the house who worked in droves so that she might bring up a huge family of bastards. I can't not. Am I to presume that my elaborate bluff has not worked? Dictionary! Right, well, the truth is, Doctor, now, don't get cross, don't overreact. The truth is, we burnt it. Then you die! Morning, everyone. You know, this dictionary really is a cracking good read. It's an absolutely splendid job. My dictionary? But you said you burnt it! I think it's a splendid book, and I look forward to patronizing it enormously. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Well, I think I'm man enough to sacrifice the pleasure of killing to maintain the general good humor. There's to be no murder today. Yes, oh. Bad repair to Mrs. Miggins. I Woo! will find you there later for a roaster you will never forget. So, <clears throat> tell me, sir, what words particularly interested you? Oh, nothing. Anything, really, you know. Yeah, I see you underlined a few. Bloomers, bottom, burp. Fiddle fornicate? Sir, I hope you are not using the first English dictionary to look up rude words. I wouldn't be too helpful. That's what all the other ones will be used for. Can I look up turnip? Turnip isn't a rude word, Baldrick. It is if you sit on one. <laughs> anyway, sir, do we have more important business in hand? I refer, of course, to the works of the mysterious Gertrude Perkins. Mysterious? No more, sir. It is time for the truth. I can at last reveal the identity of the great Gertrude Perkins. Sir, who is she? She, sir, is me, sir. I am Gertrude Perkins. Good Lord! And what's more, I can prove it. Bring out the manuscript, and I will show you that my signature corresponds exactly with that on the front. Why, I must have left it here when I left the dictionary. This is terribly exciting. <laughs> That's my novel. Yes, Baldrick, the big papery thing tied up with string. What? Like the thing we burnt? Exactly like the thing we burnt. So you're asking for the big papery thing tied up with string, Exactly like the thing we burnt. Exactly. We burnt it. <laughs> so we did. Uh oh. I've been smoke. Your Highness, would you excuse me a moment? Oh, by all means. Oh, God, no! <laughs> Thank you, sir. That's most inconvenient. A burned novel is like a burned dog. Don't oh, shut up! <laughs> I have a novel. Once upon a time, there was a lovely little sausage. Sure! Last your eyes! Oh. Well, I didn't think it was that bad. I think you'll find he left sausage out of his diction. Oh, and aardvark. Oh, no. No. Wild. Yeah? What has this to this? Some 18th shit. century, what, reggae funk? Yeah. Is that John Squire from Yes? I don't know. No. Oh. Howard. There we go. What great. That was good, man. That was two like, thumbs up, obviously. Like, the comedy is, is very smart. Very, you know, they, they give time for the joke to simmer, do yep. its thing, yep, and provides a good lesson. Always back up your your Always. works. Always. Man. Well, seven years down the drain. I couldn't. Oh, dude, I couldn't imagine. I would be I so pissed. Imagine. I couldn't imagine. That would, uh, thank God that, for the internet. That would that would really that would really suck. Oh yeah. Could you imagine if by some crazy we just lost all our videos? Could you imagine? That'd be like gut wrenching. Uh, oh my god. That is a uh, rethink. What uh -huh. the hell just happened? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <sighs> I can't wait for the next one. <laughs> Let's just get our yeah. mind off that yeah. first. <laughs> it got deep. All right. Yeah, sure anyway. Did. Thanks for your patience. Yes. Thanks for keeping the lights on here. Definitely. Wash your hands, scrub your toes, wipe your ass, blow your nose, embrace the suck. And unplug and do something epic. See y'all next time. Later. Fellas, we could be that mistake. Let's do this.